Hey guys, this is your host Aryaman Singh and today I will be talking about the best features on Cyanogen Mod 11. And to do this, I will use the Macro Max UUREKA. So, let's get started. You can unlock your phone by just looking at it. For example, if you go to settings and lock screen under personalization, screen security and then screen lock. You can just face unlock and then set it up and continue. It will take a few seconds to recognize your face and then save it. Continue and then just a backup password. And then you're ready to go. The next time you unlock your phone, you just have to look at it and it will instantly unlock. And if somebody else tries to unlock it, it will say sorry don't recognize you and then you have to enter the password. This is a very useful feature of Sanogen mode. If you want to conserve battery on your Android phone, you would usually have to switch off all the utilities from the menu. However, in Sanogen mode, they have introduced the profiles feature. In settings under personal, you can go to profiles and change the profiles quickly. For example, there's a battery saving profile and it will disable Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, auto-sync data, mobile data, portable Wi-Fi hotspot and 2G or 3G. So just by changing the profile, I have switched off all those utilities. You can also tweak your home and menu buttons to change the actions when they are double pressed or long pressed. After opening settings and choosing buttons under device, if I want that double tapping the home button should open the camera app, I can choose the double tap action under the home button and then choose launch camera. So if I double tap the home button, it will launch the camera. This is a very useful feature in Sanogen mod. On Sanogen mod, you can also skip the songs when your phone is sleeping without faking it. For example, if I play a song right now and I lock my phone, I can just press the volume rockers to switch the song. This is a useful feature while you're listening to music with your headphones or you are driving. On this phone, you can also change the brightness by just swiping on the status bar. To enable this feature, you can go to settings. Under personalization, you can go to status bar. Then there's the option of brightness control and you can just tick it. In Android, when you have too many applications open, you have to manually swipe to close each one of them. However, in Sanogen mod, there's a small button in the top right and just by pressing that, all the applications close. This is another useful feature in Sanogen mode. In Android phones, we have seen a very useful feature, the quick settings. You can change the quick settings menu on your phone. For example, I don't want the airplane mode, so I can hold it and then delete. I don't want the go to sleep mode, so I can delete that too. And if I want the camera app in the quick settings, I can just add and then camera and press the back button and it's saved. On Sanogen Mod 11, you can change the theme and customize it according to the way you need. For example, there's a themes app on the phone and you can open it to change the theme and customize it the way you want. Let's say I like some other theme. I want this theme so I'll just tap it and apply. And with a few taps, I've completely changed my phone. We can also change some custom components of the phone. Like for example, I don't like the icon set, so I can go back to the application, I'll choose components from the menu and then I can change whatever I want. I find this icon set very interesting, so I'll just press apply again and while retaining the old theme, I have changed the icon set completely. In Sanogen mod, you can also define how bright the screen should be under light. Currently, the phone is reading that the light around me is around 160 lux. That falls between 100 and 325. If I want the screen to be brighter, I can just slide the slider and it will be bright. If I press OK, the screen automatically will get brighter. If I want to reduce the brightness, I can simply drag the slider back and press OK. And the brightness will reduce. This is another useful feature of Sanogen mod. Sometimes you don't want to receive calls from a specific number and for that Sanogen mod has introduced the blacklist feature. Like if I call 
this phone from this telephone the call gets through but if i want to ignore it i can simply go to settings and under personal privacy and there's this blacklist option there i can add the contact or the number and okay so the next time i receive a call from this number the call will not get through and it will blacklist the number the next feature i found really handy is the privacy guard let's suppose you use an app which uses a lot of permission and you don't want it to use all that so you can open settings and under personal you can choose privacy and then privacy guard there you can choose which app you don't want to give your permissions and then hold that app and you get a list of all the permissions it uses from there you can modify how you want it to use them for example if it uses the record audio you can either make it you can either deny it or you can make it ask you when it's about to use it this feature is also very handy while using your phone that was all we have on this video if you enjoyed watching it press the like button and if you want to receive the latest video updates from intellect digest be sure to subscribe this is your host arimanth singh signing off thanks for watching